Hey YouTube Fragrance family, welcome back to the Robes Away channel. Happy you didn't leave. Um, yes, I'm happy to be back on the channel and uh, really I don't want to delve into why I left or what's going on. Um, just let's, uh, let's just celebrate that I'm back on the channel and I want to act like I haven't left. So let's go from where I left off and I left off on Atelier Month and I left off on day 13. You know, I picked out Ombre Nu and never really let you guys know how I felt about the fragrance. So let's start it off with that. Let's start with something simple on the channel while I've been away, try to see if I can uh, take the rust off a little bit. So sampling samples today, of course, Ombre Nu by Atelier Cologne, a 2012 release from the brand. Uh, big notes in this particular fragrance was mandarin, orchid, and cinnamon. Um, there's a little bit of uh, patchouli backing up the fragrance and some benzoin to give that uh, vanilla base to the fragrance. So Ombre Nu was a, a fragrance uh, when I sampled it. Um, really interesting. I actually have it on my hand here. I had a little bit left on my sample just to remind me of it a little bit here. Um, but the sample is completely depleted. Um, Ombre Nu is one of those fragrances for... Um, people that aren't really huge amber lovers, to be quite honest. It really didn't evoke um, the love of amber. It really is typical atelier DNA. Um, opens up very much fresh. Um, there was a hint of spice here. It, it's funny because I, I wore it twice and then I sampled it again. And you can feel the spice. It's very muted spice, but the cinnamon really does um, have its place in this particular fragrance. It, it doesn't make a wow effect to the fragrance, but it still makes its effect here to give it some warmth. Um, you can really feel some of the darker tones uh, coming through, but um, us usually the star of the show for Atelier Colognes is of course uh, in the opening, the usual citruses, and this one does not disappoint. Um, this one is, the one that shines is the Mandarin. Um, it also has bergamot in here and they both intertwine with each other. Uh, but the big the big boy is the Mandarin up top. Um, it, it has a, a excellent Mandarin as Atelier fragrances usually do um, have a really good uh, citrus. Um, now this has a sweet orchid um, that comes up. Um, the sweet orchid, orchid is of course a vanilla. Um, orchid blossoms more and more, um, the more you wear this fragrance, uh, the longer it's on your skin and it comes to almost smell like it's cousin of the lineup. It, it really was eerie for me to uh, dissect this fragrance and it really did remind me of a Veni Essence. It really has that vanilla feel to the fragrance. Of course, Orchid would do that. Um, it also has Benzoin in here. So Benzoin is, uh, of course, uh, would give you a, an idea of Amber um, and of course, Vanilla. So the Orchid here really shows, tr truly shows your Vanilla ambery base to the fragrance with the help of the benzoin. Um, you got a little speckle of cinnamon. Um, it, it has its place, it does its job. However, don't feel like you're going to get blown away by the cinnamon in this fragrance. It, it very, it's very much tame. Uh, however, well constructed as a secondary or almost a uh, third uh, like note. Uh, there's a minimal addition of patchouli here. Um, the patchouli itself gives the fragrance a little more depth. Um, it gives it a little bit of darkness. Um, it doesn't really go that dark as a fragrance, to be quite honest with you. Patchouli feels like it's more of a backbone. It doesn't really shine in this fragrance either. Uh, Ombre Nu really had a lot going for it. Um, it really had some, some good aspects to the fragrance, but it also has, uh, at the same time, it came up short in my opinion, especially as an amber-based head. Um, I, I love amber-based fragrances, and um, I, I feel like this one was just middle of the road, and sometimes at this price point, uh, middle of the road's just not good enough. Um, it's not a heavy amber by any means. Um, obviously, it's an Atelier Cologne. Um, it's not really an amber for amber lovers out there, more of a, almost like a light vanilla orchid more than anything. Um, really, Ombre Nu came out as being an, a good scent, but sometimes good is just not good enough. Uh, staying power for this particular fragrance, uh, good for Atelier Colognes, uh, five to six hours on my skin, so it did pretty good. Uh, projections, fairly moderate, um, nothing crazy in regards to this fragrance at all. Um, good things about this fragrance, very much a solid build. Um, that's what I'm coming to figure out with Atelier. Uh, well, a lot of their fragrances kind of lose steam after a while. Um, this one uh, still lost some steam, but it, it really stayed solid uh, for the five to six hours. So it's a very much solid build. Um, it was something I appreciated. Um, and of course, uh, all the notes uh, work together very, very well. Um, 
on that note, the Mandarin itself with the theme, it almost felt like out of place, but as far as an Etudie fragrance, you know that the you're gonna get that citrus. Um, the bad things about this fragrance, not really an amber for amber lovers, so um, when you name a fragrance ambre, I know ambre nu means naked amber, um, which it, named aptly pretty much. I mean, it really is an amber that doesn't have much depth to it. Um, so for amber lovers out there, kind of avoid, it's not your typical amber that you're looking for. Um, and it's your typical atelier simplistic uh, type of fragrance. I mean, it really, uh, and that could be a good thing for some people, but for me, it's kind of a bad thing for me. Um, my final take is this bottle worthy, another sample or uh, simply a pass. Um, this is on the cusp of another sample to almost a pass here. Um, it really didn't invoke anything really crazy from me. Um, and that goes to my final score, of course, uh, five rating being uh, simply outstanding. I'm going to blind buy this stuff. Uh, we already know that's not going to be the, the case here to one being a trash bin fragrance. I mean, it really is the typical, basically, atelier score right now. Um, they are getting a lot of threes, and that's what it's going to get here, a three-star rating from me. Ambre Nu is not great nor terrible. Um, it's just the middle of the road, and um, for that price point, you're the one that's going to decide if you feel like it's a bottle worthy for you. For me, it really wasn't. So thank you for watching, guys. I know it's been uh, approximately two months since I've done a video. Kind of rusty, I just felt like putting the camera on. I already wrote this sampling sample, I just had to kind of shoot it, so I just wanted to kind of get uh, the rust off a little bit. You guys let me know how I did. And uh, if you have tested out Ambre Nu, please uh, let us know in the comments below what you think about it, good, bad, ugly, if I'm off base, or what you have smelt from the fragrance. It really is appreciated to see in the comments what you guys think about it. Thanks for watching, have a good one.